ball that is thrown downward from the top of a 100 meter high tower. So it's thrown downward. So that's why it's got kind of a strange. I don't think it's thrown up like that. Okay, so anyway. Um, so it's got an initial speed of two meters a second uh, above the ground. So, so it follows this equation here. So we want to know how long does it take to reach the ground. So we, all we do is we set it equal to 0, 100 minus 2t minus 4.9t squared. And if we use the quadratic equation, um, we get a negative value and then we get a positive value. We're going to use the positive value and that roughly comes out to be 4.318 seconds. 3 point or 4.32 seconds or whatever. So um, how long is, okay, so what is the average velocity during the fall? So to do that, um, we travel 100 feet, so this is part A. Average velocity, so that's 100 meters divided by 4.318. So that's approximately um, 23.2 meters a second or negative, negative 23.2 meters a second. All right, so then at the instance it's velocity, at what instance, instant is its velocity equal to the average velocity? So to do that, um, what we do is we take 100 minus 2t minus 4.9t squared, and we set it equal to, um, I think, do we set it equal to negative 23? Yeah, so negative 23.2 meters a second. And then we solve for t in this instance, and what we end up with is, um, at that in the instance it's equal to that, it's approximately 2.16 seconds. If you solve, you probably have to use a quadratic equation again, but 2.16 seconds. So, all right, I hope that helped you out. I appreciate you taking the time to watch, and you have yourself a great day.